Fanfic Corner, presented by Animal Girl. If We Hold On Together, Chapter 1, written and read by Animal Girl. Rayla hated her new school uniform. The only thing remotely nice about it was that the pleated skirt was the same as her clan's tartan. Other than that, it was horrible. She didn't see why she had to attend St. Lawrence Catholic School anyway. There was another high school, Henry Ford II, which was much closer to her house. Also, it was a public school, so not only would she not have to wear a uniform, but her guardians wouldn't have to pay tuition. But Ruan and Lu Jane told her when they registered her for the start of, win of the winter semester that they had promised her parents that they would make sure she received the best education they could provide for her. It was one of the reasons that they had moved from Scotland to America. There were far more opportunities for them in America. Not only would Rayla have more choices in, for her life, but Lee Jane would be able to further her career as a doctor, and Ruan would be able to get a better job as a historian. He was already teaching history at the local community college and had a line on a job at the Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village. Your new uniform looks so pretty on you, Lee Jane said as Rayla sat down at the table. Do I have to go? Rayla asked for what seemed like the thousandth, thousandth time. We've been over this, Rayla, Ruan said. You belong in school. Rayla slumped down in her chair. She really didn't want to go to school, at least not her new one. She wanted to go to her old school back in Scotland, where all her friends were. Talking to them via Skype, Facebook, and Twitter wasn't the same as talking to them before school, in between classes, during lunch, and after school. What's wrong, Rayla? Lou Jane asked as she set a plate in front of her. I just miss my friends, Rayla said. I know this move has been hard on you, but you'll still be able to keep in touch with them through social media, and you have the chance to make new friends. Rayla gave Lou Jane a small smile. She knew she was trying to make her feel better. That's my girl. Eat your breakfast, and I'll take you to school. Rayla started eating her eggs, bacon, hash browns, and toast. Lou Jane believed in a good breakfast to start the day, especially a busy day like the one ahead. So Rayla rarely got cereal or oatmeal for breakfast, unless it was the weekend. After eating everything on her plate and drinking her orange juice, Rayla brushed her teeth before going back to her room to finish getting ready. After checking to make sure she had all her notebooks, folders, and other school supplies in her backpack, she put on some lip gloss before putting the small snack bag of cake-flavored lip smackers in her backpack to put in her locker at school. Before leaving, she shoved a copy of The Warrior of Clan Kincaid into her bag to read during lunch and before class. Hurry up, Rayla, Lou Jane said as the girl put on her shoes and winter coat. You don't want to be late on your first day. Rayla got out of the car to join the stream of kids entering the school. Do you want me to go in with you? Lee Jane asked. I'm not a baby, Rayla said. Besides, I'm going to stick out enough as it is. All right, you have your lunch money, right? Rayla nodded. She had put it in her pencil case for safekeeping the night before. I'll pick you up after school, Lee Jane said. Either wait here or inside by the office. I will, Rayla said as she joined the other kids entering the school. As she entered the school portion of the building, a boy her age with brown hair and green eyes came up to her. Hi, he said. You just moved into Stonegate, right? Rayla nodded, not wanting to encourage any further conversation. She put her coat and backpack in her locker and took out her pencil case, book, and a folder and notebook out of her backpack. The boy opened the locker next to hers. I live there too. Do you maybe want to come over and hang out? Mr. Catullus, a teacher said, shouldn't you be getting to class? 
Okay, he looked at Rayla as he closed his locker. I'll see you around. Without waiting for a response, the boy went down the hall towards his first class. Rayla closed her locker and made her way to the office to get her class schedule. The classroom buzzed with chatter as the students waited for their teacher to start class. Callum just sat at his desk at the front of the room, drawing in one of his notebooks, the one he used for sketching. Suddenly, the teacher called the class to order. As his classmates took their seats, Callum put his drawing notebook under his textbook and opened his notebook labeled English class. Just as the teacher was about to start her lesson, the door opened and the vice principal entered the classroom, followed by a girl with white blonde hair and violet eyes. The girl Callum had seen at his locker. Sorry to interrupt, the vice principal said to the teacher. Class, we have a new student joining you. Her name is Rayla Zadia, and she just moved here from Scotland. The principal and I want you to make her feel welcome. Welcome to English class, the teacher said after the vice principal left. I'm Mrs. Albright. I hope you like writing because we do a lot of essays, book reports, and short stories in this class. You can take your seat now. Rayla took the only seat available, the one next to Cal right next to Callum. Okay, everyone else pass up the book reports you were to write over vacation. The class groaned as folders were opened and reports taken out. Callum turned to look at the new girl. Hi again, he said, waiting for the reports to make their way to the front of the row. Don't worry, Mrs. Albright is really nice. All right, class, Ms. Albright said once the book reports were all turned in. I should have these back to you by the end of the week. Now please open your books to page 80. Mr. Catalos, could you please get a textbook for Ms. Ray, Ms. Zadia? Rayla set her tray down at the only vacant table in the lunchroom. It had been a busy morning. After English class, she had math with Mr. Ruin, followed by geography with Mrs. Banderlodge. She also already had a lot of homework to do. In addition to reading an essay in her English textbook and answering the corresponding questions, she also had to choose a book, book to read for the next book report that was due by the end of January and think of a topic for an essay she had to write on an animal of her choice for Miss Albright. Mr. Rune had assigned problems 1 through 50 in chapter 10 of their te math textbooks, odds only, to keep people from looking up the answers. And Mrs. Banderlodge had assigned the class to read the first chapter in the section of their textbook on Africa and answer the review questions at the end, as well as pick a country in Africa to write a report on. Hi, said the brown-haired boy, Callum, who had been in all three of her morning classes. Is that good? He gestured towards the warrior of Clan Kincaid. Depends on how you feel about historical romances, Rayla answered. My mom used to read romance books, Callum said as he set his tray down and took a seat across from Rayla. They're mostly paranormal romances, though. You know, Alpha and Omega, Kate Daniels, Mercy Thomas, E. Norville, Crimson Moon, Otherworld. <clears throat> Rila looked up, interested. I love paranormal romances, she said. You do? I like all kinds of romance books, as long as they aren't smutty. What other kind of books do you like to read? Adventure and mystery, mostly. Callum took a bite of his lunch before asking her another question. I saw that your folders and notebooks were all Avengers, he said. Do you like them? Only a lot. Have you seen all the movies? All except for Infinity Wars, Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Ant-Man and Wasp, and Thor Ragnarok. I'm also a big Star Wars and How to Train Your Dragon fan. The two continued to talk while they had lunch. When the bell rang, they gathered up their trays and trash along with the other students. What class do you have next? Callum asked as they left the cafeteria. Rayla looked at her schedule. History with a Mrs. Reyes? 
She said, so do I. I'll walk you. When the bell rang to dismiss school, Rayla hurried to her locker. While she had gotten most of it done during last hour study hall, she still had a lot of homework to do. In addition to what was left from her morning classes, she had to start reading Chapter 8 in her history textbook and answer the discuss, discuss questions at the end of the chapter, as well as think of a topic for the, a history report that Mrs. Reyes had assigned for history class, and read a case file in her science textbook and answer the related questions, as well as start reading the chapter on marine biology. Lee Jane was waiting for her right in the front of the school with the other moms waiting to pick up their kids. Rila opened the door and got in with a big smile on her face. You won't believe what happened at school today, she said as the car door closed. Okay, before I sign off, um, one thing I'd like to touch on, and that is that if you are a fanfic writer and you have a fanfic that you would like me to do a reading on for Fanfic Corner, feel free to submit it. Um, you can send it to either my Tumblr account or my Facebook page. I will have the link for both in the description section. Also, if you'd like to read this story and any of my other fanfics that I write, you can feel free to check them out on my Wattpad page. I will have the link for that in the description section as well. Now, for sending in the um, fanfics, a couple of things I would like you to keep in mind. First off, be sure to include your name when you send it to me or the name of the author. Um, also, make sure you get permission from the author as well. I will come back to that point in a minute. Uh, if I don't have a name, an author's name, I will not do a reading. I do want to be able to credit the author for this right for the um, fanfics I do the reading of. Also, please keep in mind if it's long, I will divide it up between videos like I do with mine. Fortunately, my camcorder only records up to 33 minutes, so I can't do hour to two hour long videos. Also, please try to keep it clean. Um, if there's any parts that I deem inappropriate, um, I will gloss over or clean up those parts. Uh, if there's just too many, I won't do a reading at all. Um, unfortunately, kids may be watching these, um, basically kids may be watching these videos and I just don't want them to hear anything that's not really all that appropriate. Lastly, um, please be honest. I said I would get back to the, um, get permission from the author in a second and that's where it um, and here's where that comes in. Um, please be honest when you submit the fanfics. Uh, I do want to have you to have the author's permission if you're submitting something that is not your work. Uh, if I learn that someone has submitted a fanfic that was written by somebody else and they did not have that person's permission to submit it, I will not only remove that video or any other videos corresponding to that video from YouTube myself, but I will also no longer accept fanfics from the sender, okay?